Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here. Bring you guys the first episode of the shootout commentary series. That is right, boys. And let's go with the Edmonton Oilers in this episode. Gotta go with that money. Connor McDavid named captain yesterday. Just incredible. What okay, I'm going the wrong way here. Okay, what am I doing? All right, there we go. Just incredible what this kid has accomplished at such a young age. It just blows my mind. Every time this kid steps on the ice, it just... It's a, it's a pleasure to watch. It really is. He's so incredible. Just so much. He's just so smart. He's too smart. Just the way he skates, the poise he carries, it's just absolutely incredible. I love watching this kid play. Uh, unfortunately, the Leafs couldn't snag him. I'm happy with Austin Matthews, but this kid right here is the real deal. He truly is a generational talent. And you know, I'm not saying Matthews isn't, but he's just. Up there with Crosby is what I'm saying. Crosby and Ovechkin type level. And <sighs> the Oilers are going to be set for a while. If they can figure it out on defense, they're going to be a threat for many years to come. Mark my words. But let's get on to the shootout here. we got to get a win. I'm not doing too well with the shootouts this year, boys. I think I'm like 2-2 two and two right now. I think this will put us over 500. So come on, let's get a positive record here, all right? Up against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's get her done. Come on. All right, let's go here. Let's just start it off proper. Connor McDavid, where's the C? Come on, EA. You got to figure it out here. Let's go. So let's do a couple of moves, a little leg kick, and then nope, we completely fucked it there. Oh, I thought I got him there. Oh, and it just kind of bounces. That was a little weird, but whatever. Wasn't the greatest attempt. Thought I had it, but we got to bring some more pressure next time. Come on. Big save out tablet. Let's go here. And he just skates backwards. All right, buddy. Cool. Thank you. And that's another thing. The goaltending situation. I know the defense is a huge problem in Edmonton, but how about the goaltending? Can the goaltending keep it together this year? Can you guys squeak into the wild card? Who knows? With the forwards, obviously, but you just got to get have... Oh, there we go. Out of boy, Nuge. You just got to have... um. A good goaltender to support your forwards. I mean, if you have above average goaltending and you the forwards produce really well this year, I could see you guys slip into the wild card spot. Probably a first round exit, but hey, at least it's a step forward in the right direction for sure. And Steven Stamkos. All right, we got to make a big save here, boys. Enough chitter chat. Come on, big save. Oh, and he just claps it. What the fuck was that? I absolutely bet I suck so bad at goalie this year, boys. Don't roast me in the comments. Uh, I've honestly played this like two or three times goalie. And I don't know, they changed so much. I just, I like the mechanics in 13 and 14 for goaltender. It's just the next gen controls for goalie, I just really don't like. It's just too much for me. But anyways, let's get going here. Dry sidle, let's go. All right, come on. Oh, there it is. Let's get it. Dry sidle. This guy's gonna be a really good player too. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play with McDavid. Uh, dry sidle, pull Yarvi. Oh my, it's just gonna be absolutely insane for the Oilers. They just honestly, they need a couple competent defensemen. Darnell Nurse needs to progress really well, and they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with. I was gonna say stop, but that would have made no sense. But they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with, boys. Mark my words. And how do you do the? Hey, this guy keeps going backwards for whatever reason. Um, I don't know what he's trying to do there. But I was trying to do the uh, Poker Rooney. I don't know how to do that this year. Oh, 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 I thought I had him top right. He was kind of leaning, sitting back in his net there. I, yeah, I thought I had him. Fuck, whatever. Come on, we got to just got to nail it here, boys. Come on, we need a win. We can't. I fucking hate having a 500 record. I, we need a win. Let's put us over the top. Come on. Come on, there we go. Whatever. <laughs> Got injured there too. What the hell was that? Oh, took a little spill. All right, Talbot, let's go here. Come on. Yak, Yak City. All right, come on here. Come on, there it is. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. There's the win, boys. You had to get the win for the first episode. I know they weren't the greatest goals, the greatest dangles, but... I wanted to leave it off on a high note. Had to get a win there, so it was all right, but it wasn't the greatest goals. Uh, I could do better. But regardless, we got the win, and 
I'm Ant. I'm just glad to be back, boys. I'm glad doing my old shootout commentaries, my GM modes, my hut pack openings, all this stuff. It's just good to be back. I'm so happy. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments how you guys think Edmonton will do. Will they slip into the wild card spot? Will they be a bottom of the pack team again? Who knows? But I personally think they have the ability uh, to get into a wild card at least. But they could even do better. Who knows? Uh, we're just going to have to see how the defense and the goaltending are this year. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know in the comments how you guys think the Edmonton Oilers will do. I very well think they can make it into a wild card spot. But they just need their defense to step up and their goaltending. And honestly, they will be set. It's just they need subpar goaltending. And the defensive core needs to step up a little bit. And I think they'll be in good hands. So I'm looking forward to this next season, what they have to bring. And they're going to be a fun team to watch. I'm looking forward to see McDavid play, obviously, a full season. Hopefully, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes this year for the Oilers. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more NHL 17 content. That is right, boys. Peace.